Good morning, fifth graders. Today we're going to talk about rounding decimals to the nearest tenth. Remember, when I round a number, I find the other number that it is closest to. So when I round to the nearest tenth, I am finding the tenth that a number is closest to. I can use number lines to help me accomplish this. Let's dive right into an example. Round 15 and 63 hundredths to the nearest tenth. Well, there's a six in the tenths place. I need to find what two tenths this number falls between. If I drew a number line, 15 and 63 hundredths would fall between 15 and 6 tenths and 15 and 7 tenths. I know that between 15 and 6 tenths, which is the same as 15.60, and 15 and 7 tenths, which is the same as 15 and 70 hundredths, I can plot 10 hundredths. Let's do that now. I have plotted the hundredths between 15 and 6 tenths and 15 and 7 tenths. I can locate 15 and 63 hundredths on the number line. I see that it is not all the way to the halfway point. It is closer to 15 and 6 tenths. So when I round 15 and 63 hundredths to the nearest tenth, I get 15 and 6 tenths. Let's look at another example. Round 37 and 692 thousandths to the nearest tenth. There is a 6 in the tenths place. That can help me see that this number falls between 37 and 6 tenths and 37 and 7 tenths on the number line. I can fill in the hundredths between these two tenths now. Now that I've filled in my number line, I can plot my point. I can see that 37 and 692 thousandths would be just past 37 and 69 hundredths. That's well past my midpoint of 37.65. It's closer to 37 and 7 tenths. The 9 in the hundredths place showed me that when I round, this number rounds to 37 and 7 tenths. Let's look at another example. Round 18 and 973 thousandths to the nearest tenth. Here, I have a 9 in the tenths place. When I look, this number falls between 18 and 9 tenths and 19 and 0 tenths. I can plot the hundredths between these two tenths now. Now that I've plotted my hundredths, I can see that 18 and 973 thousandths would be just past 18 and 97 hundredths. This is past my midpoint of 18 and 95 hundredths. That means that it's closer to 19 and 0 tenths. 19 and 0 tenths is the nearest tenth to 18 and 973 thousandths. So remember, when you round to the nearest tenth, first identify the two tenths your number falls between. Then graph the hundredths between those two tenths. And use your number line to help you figure out which tenth is it closest to.